Hi everybody, Jonathan here, Psalm 40 from the forum. So this is my second tutorial on the drum set editor within the BeatBuddy Manager software. And in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can make a copy of a drum kit. So you can make changes to the copy rather than affecting the original. So imagine you've got a MIDI file that's actually triggering on MIDI node 35. So you click on here and you change 36 to 35. And you go OK, and you then save the set. And you go to your song, and you want to play your blues in the standard kit. We just need. And suddenly you've got the standard kit now without a, a bass drum because you've actually changed uh, the MIDI note that the WAF samples will trigger on. So to avoid that, you can create a copy. So before we do that, let's move that back to 36. And save it. And so to create a copy, you would save as. You could make the changes first and then save as, but I think the way I'm currently doing it, I'm constantly double clicking on the name of the song to save it. And once you've done that, you've overwritten your original copy. So it's probably best to go to File, Save Drum Kit As, and we'll just save it as New Standard Drum Kit, and we'll replace it. So now we've got a copy of this within on our computer so if you go import export import drum set new standard kit then you'll have a new standard kit within your um, your manager software but because we never changed the name of the kit up there so even if we save it it's not going to be called new standard kit so what we're going to do is click up there as I showed you in my first tutorial, and we'll just make it new standard kit. And hit return, because there's no OK. And then once you double click on there to save it, it will then be reflected down there. So there we go. New standard kit. And now we could change that again to 35 and make the changes. But instead of doing that this time, I'm going to add another instrument. So we've now got a copy, so we could have a new standard kit which includes um, a tambourine. So to do that, you would go to Organize and Add Instrument. And that automatically sends it to the bottom. And what we're going to do, the tambourine was for a song called Stars on the Water, which was uploaded by Shano814. So here it is. So if you look for Stars on the Water, if you click there, you can download the song. And so that's now in my downloads area. And if you click on that, it will download the zip file of the samples required. So if we now go back to the Beat Buddy, if we go, actually, if you go to the downloads area, well, I accidentally clicked on it twice. So there's our instrument samples. This requires an impacker of some sort, so I'm currently using 7-zip. Uh, so we go open archive. And probably the easiest thing to do is to drag and drop it into the downloads area. And we'll just move that to the side. And as I mentioned in my first video, is oops wrong one you can you can drag and drop so here are the tambourine samples so first of all we'll just start with that so as soon as it's highlighted you can drag and drop so there's no need to go add and I'll close that down to avoid confusion
You can even add um, more than more than one at the same time, which is pretty cool. So um, we've got an extra three, so I can delete that. And this is showing me that there's something wrong with the velocity. And as you can see, 0 to 20, 127 is triggering that, and 26 to 27 is triggering that. So you could make that 0. And then it would use that algorithm that I turned, talked about in the first video to choose which ones of those it will play. So as you can see, it's white. But what we'll do is we'll just we'll copy what the splash symbol here does. So it goes 0, 45. And then 949, uh, sorry, 46. Where did I get 49 from? To 95. And then 96. To 127. And then one more. Oh, no, 96 to. Oh, yeah, so those two. will um, use the algorithm. So sometimes it will be that one, and sometimes it will be that one. So all we need to do now is give it the um, MIDI note that it needs, that it requires. So if you have a look at the post, it says tambourine is MIDI 54. Go to my trusty MIDI map, and in fact, 54 is tambourine. So we change that to 54. I see no choke, choke group. So now when a MIDI file comes along with MIDI node 54, it will trigger one of those samples depending on the velocity of the MIDI node. So let's double click on that and go save. Now there was a song that goes with this. So if we go to our song tab and actually close blues and you go organize and new folder. Otherwise, it will import it in here and we'll never find it. So we'll just call it new folder, click on there and go import export, import song, go where it was downloaded. So we can choose either of these. Might as well do that one. And there's, and, and if we played it with the standard kit, it wouldn't have the tambourine, but if we go to the new standard kit, now you will remember what I mentioned in my previous video if it was unticked and I forgot to tick it. So you got new kit, new standard kit, and there it is. So now by default this song will always play in the new standard kit and once you click on that it will want to save it. And here we go. It's got an intro. And then you hear the tambourine. If we did the same with the standard kit, click on that, say. No tambourine. Of course, you can add any sample you like into the drum sets. Um, so you could add um, further instruments to the new standard kit or any kit uh, that is there, or even download other kits from the site and install them. Um, just bear in mind that you've got a maximum of 100 meg to play with for the drum kits, and the new standard kit, as you can see, with the tambourine sample is now up to 97%. Um, the download with the tambourine also came with a shaker, so you could add that, but you'll get close to the 100 meg um, once you add those as well. And then as long as you have the MIDI file to trigger it, you'll be able to hear them. So I hope you found that informative and helpful. In the next video, I plan on showing you how to install user kits and also a general overview of how you would create a kit from scratch. So I'll see you in the next video.